Hello everyone, today I am back on Europa Universe House, we're playing as France, and currently I'm in the middle of a battle, of a battle with the Ottomans and the Mam- well, the Mamluks, with, and I'm joined basically by the Ottomans, essentially. And, fun story, and by fun, I mean absolutely, oh, almost heartbreaking. So, as you can see here, these were all saved with an older version of EU4, because my game updated before turning it on today. So, it didn't load, originally. So, I almost had a heart attack, because I thought I would have to restart all my progress. Like, I'm not even lying, I did have that kind of heart attack. Because I almost lost all my progress. Like, I've done good, but I've never done this good as a country. Mostly because I always lose all the wars I join. So, you know, actually having won multiple against England and Venice and the Mamluks makes me feel really good. But then almost losing all of that. Also, on the loading page, right before I almost died on the inside, I found out that if I hold shift when right clicking, I can make a custom path. So, you know, that's cool. Although I'm, I'm definitely not gonna send you guys that way. I'm gonna send them the fastest way I can up there. Okay. Who else is in this war? These people. Okay, good to know. Well, I guess send my men in there. Okay, I'm glad that they did that. I don't want to have to worry about a war at this moment. Especially since I almost had a heart attack. Because I almost lost everything I just imagine losing this whole series because the game updated I'm glad that they and the thing is it said if I say if I go to the save and and then save it and then load it it should work thank goodness it does but that still almost gave me a heart attack So I do hope I can get something out of this war. I'm gonna stay in the whole war with the Ottomans because, I mean, let's face it, they're my strongest ally, I might as well. Because I know it's not the best idea to leave a war that your ally is in. Because you do get a bonus if you stay in the whole war. Also, this should really help me discover some more lands, which is good. Sadly, I'm not at war with Song Kai. That'd be nice. Okay, send. Oh no, I feel so bad for them because I'm not able to do anything. And what did I get this bronze? Oh well, I guess. I mean, a province is a province. Okay, 560 ducats, that's good. I mean, it's not to me, of course, but, you know, that's still a good thing to draw out of a war. Wait, oh, the war's over. Never mind, that was useless. And just 560-ish ducats? I can get if you're in debt, but that war probably put them in even worse debt. I mean, they're probably getting a lot of money anyways, just being in this area. Okay, nope, never mind. They just got a lot of land. Phew, if they didn't get all that land, I would have been really upset with them. Hmm. I have a fun little idea. Spine network. Just to see something. Where is Tunis? Twenty thousand. Hmm. 
Okay, man. Come over here. Actually, you know what? No. Come over to here for now. Once the siege is over, then I have an idea of something fun to do. Spain at war with them? Okay, sadly, no. But, you know. I mean, I can be at war with them and be happy. I wonder if I'll be able to get the Ottomans in this war. That way they can take Ragusa. Because I can give them all this land. Which would definitely be a good thing. Go. That should be good enough for now. Luckily, I can send 32,000 troops to take these provinces. And I really can't wait to do that because the amount of land I can get from here. I mean, eventually, I'll be able to take land from Songhai. Wait a minute, I just realized I have two merchants. Cool. Trade. Send. Collect. Send. Actually, wait, no. Um, no. Send. Collect. Yes, of course. Where are these people? Not that it's gonna matter or anything. Oh. Yes, conquest. Rabble, rabble. Words people say that sound good. War things. Just gonna do a little bit of this. There we go, that should do it. Yeah, honestly, I think we have this war in the bag. I mean, I, re I mean France 2.0 is the only one who can really do anything. I'm not sending troops over. I'm about to declare war on someone. I think I am crazy, actually. Yeah, I'm totally crazy. That's besides the point. Um... I'll do this. Okay, now I know there's something I probably wanted to do. Was it declare war on Tuscany? No. Wait, what? Okay, they're independent. They're guaranteeing the independence of Burgundy, Cleves, and Tuscany. It's hard to tell if that means they're un they're totally under the protection because it's going to be easy or hard to kill them. I mean, I don't want to kill Province, but I might have to if I want to take any more land. Plus, I mean, let's face it, Province is kind of useless nowadays. I mean, they're useful, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, if they're defending my enemies... Well, you know... Sounds kind of like treason, even though they're their own country. Yeah, these loans are never getting paid off at this rate. But the amount of land here, that sure looks nice. Okay. Um. No, I'm just not going to ask questions. Asking questions usually makes bad stuff happen. That's a lot of troops. I like it. 
I wonder if Spain would help me kill tu Tunis. I'm, I'm sure it had, has to be pretty easy to do. It says low maintenance like I should care or something. <laughs> uh, I love this game sometimes. And the other time, I, I'm i just usually slamming my head into the keyboard wondering why bad things keep happening to me. Ooh, good work. We're doing amazing. Very amazing. I like how these eight troops are literally just sitting here for the rest of their life. Just taking all these coastal areas. Okay, now obviously I'm going for Pheasant because that lets me go inland. Great. Completely forgot about Discord again. Hmm. Oh, perfect, Spain. Darn it. Ooh, I could get province of the Ottomans in. I'll call the Ottomans in. I could call province in the war, but I don't want to waste their call to war yet. I'm going to waste it on a better war. One that's probably more worth it. I will... You paid a loan. Sure. That's what it means. To repay a loan. I totally know what I'm doing. Like, the only reason I'm calling the Ottomans into the war is for this area. I'm not bothering with them. What do they think I am? A warmonger, actually? You know what? Now that, the, now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm totally not a warmonger. I feel kind of bad that they can't deliver a good war. And by that, I mean not really at all. I mean I'm winning. Can't really feel bad about winning. Wait a minute. Okay, good. Their troops are being backed up into a corner. Colonize Gold Coast. Well, that was next on my list anyways. Send. I might finally have religious unity for once. Making sure that Spain didn't for some reason. Okay, never mind. Luckily, if they want to win this war, they actually should probably have troops here, so you know. Like, I'm not saying they're being dumb, I'm just saying that they're being completely dumb. Perfect. I just need to keep these forts 
safe because they have to take one of those forts. I can take most of their land instantly. land I can take by myself. I didn't even need the Ottomans, they're just here for, for Ragusa's land. Okay, you know what, split, and then those guys go there. do this for now because I don't really care about that too much. Nope, not that province. Okay, it's that one. And those guys there. I'll just merge those troops for now. This is the only threat they have, everyone. Keep that in mind. Those 20,000 troops that are not going to be able to even seize that province for half of their country. Wait, no, my bad, not half. Three halves. Which is seven eighths. So, you know. A real threat. I can say that they're a threat, right? I mean, they're sieging land. They have to be a threat somehow. I mean, it's hard to tell if they're sieging land or just sitting there trying to do something. But, you know, I'm not going to judge too much. No matter how hard I am judging already. This is actually bad. You know it's bad when all your troops can do is just sit there sieging one area. You guys lose money or gain stability. I will clearly go for that stability. I'll send my troops back when they become a threat. So it's going to take a few years. But, you know, they might be able to pull something off somehow, eventually. And literally, everyone else go here. This is where I find out that they somehow owned all of this hidden land. And then I just die. Okay, so I'm gonna probably keep... Um, actually... I'm not even sure how many troops I should keep. Maybe, like... Um... Twelve? I think I'll have to just keep twelve, to be honest. I'm, I can't really put too many in here, but I have to keep a lot. Look at that deal, everyone. Not even prestige. And I own all of their territory. The only thing I'm waiting for is the Ottomans right now, so you know what? I will split ten troops off. Select you guys to sit over here for now. And you guys come over here. You'll help the Ottomans siege whatever they have. Well, kill whatever they have. You know, it's sad because it's probably been a few months, yet they've lost nothing. Okay, Ragusa clearly wants to leave. Sue for peace. if I do this. Okay, then 
Okay, never mind. Well, might as well make them do everything I can. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. I want Pheasant, obviously, because that was the war goal. Now, I'll try and not be too greedy. You know what? That should do it. I feel content with that much land. Probably should have looked at who was going to try and kill me, but, you know, that's fine. This feels good. Okay, I'll pull this guy out because I need to take some land. Please take cores. Also, I own Tatooine. I love Star Wars references, even though I've never seen any of the movies. Please, nobody kill me. I'm not even lying about that, which is the worst part. They really are idiots. Did they not see what I just did to Tunis? Now, I'm not able to beat them because of... Province. Or Austria, or Bohemia, or Württemberg, or Venice. But I have Spain, Brandenburg, and Denmark. So, yeah. Plus the fact that they have 42,000 near probably one of their biggest stacks. So, yeah, I wouldn't try and attack me or anything. I wonder what Papal State has. England and Hungary, but I have Scotland. Denmark, Spain, Brandenburg. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Also, something I, that I just remembered to look at. So, these are essentially their gains from the giant war that I had. Okay, the Papal State has 14 total troops. Yeah, that should be enough. Actually, you know what? No, I'll, I'll stay out of wars for now. I'll send these troops back to Paris. And I will start working on upgrading literally every province I have. Okay, um, mothball all forts. Just do this. You know, just keep doing that, I guess. I can't keep my corruption rising. Because as it says, it could devastate my country. I can't remember where I saw it, but it does say that it will. Decline. And this province... This Wait. You know what? This province looks pretty nice. It has a level 4 fort... Hmm, and it would split their country technically in half. I'll, I'll wait for now, before I decide to split a country in half, again. I mean, I haven't done that yet, but if I just took that one province, well, you know. And if I didn't take a province like this one. But Tunis is now an easy target. Okay, um, better leave it be. Pause. I can still take, say, you tell you, yes, I can. I can get Spain in on this war. Well, let me just see something. Portugal only has 45,000, but they probably have not anything in here. You know what? Soon. Okay, now I'm kind of wishing I took this province. That way, I could at least make it easier on me for this stuff. Okay, well, you know what? You know what they say. It's 
best to declare war on everyone that you hate. And that at least hates you back. I mean, sure, they like me, but, you know, I don't want them to live after the wars that they've joined against me. It just doesn't seem fitting to basically make peace with somebody who I hate. Okay, actually, you know what, I'm just gonna have to lower this for now. I can try and lessen the damage done by it. Although I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix it easily. Okay, perfect. Where is that again? I'm pretty sure it's this area. Okay, yeah. Okay, time for Ohio. How much? Okay, I feel really good right now. The amount of land I've just gained within two videos. I can feel the power going to my head already. Who knows what I'm gonna do next? Okay, they say better late than never. And right now is late. So, you know, never now, I guess. Right? It's hard to tell. Is, Port is Portugal at war? They are. Well, being the amazing person that I am, I'm gonna help this poor country by killing them. Once I have full army maintenance so I don't die. This actually hurts the fact that I can't really waste this money, because this is loan money. The worst of its kind. Okay, but I have to hurry before they get over 16 troops. Luckily, they have, they, these are technically two separate groups of, of regiments. Or, it's hard to not rhyme groups with troops. But yeah. Because they're separated, I should have a, at least a little bit of a better chance. Plus, they're all the same things that I have, but I have a horse and six cannons, so you know. I think I have the advantage just slightly. You know what? They say you should try and not have enemies. But I say who cares? Enemies are what make things fun. Plus, I mean, when your enemies are weak, like Portugal... And Tunis, and England, and Venice. Well, then it's just even more fun, to be honest. Okay. Split. Wait, no. Oh, my bad. Merge together. I wanted to do this. Here then. Okay, this should do. Ooh, perfect. I okay, I'm glad I can go through Tunis's land for this war. It's the only real fun thing about war, actually sieging things. Lose money and gain corruption and liege will hate me. Why would I ever do that? I mean, there's clearly a better option that I was able to choose. Okay, you guys come to Sayuta and actually siege the war goal. And actually, you know what? Since you guys are, aren't are going to need to do anything 
just start seeding land around the war goal as well. <clears throat> and you guys are probably wondering, why am I doing this even though I really don't have the ability to core all these provinces? Well, it's something I like to call war. Mostly because it's fun. And I get to kill people that I hate. But mostly because it's fun. Looking good. Okay. Almost done with this province. Wait. That just clicked in my brain. Probably somewhere else across the continent. Like on a different continent, to be honest. Okay, just come here. I can't wait to declare what more war on Morocco after this. I'm obviously gonna take these provinces. I mean, let's face it, I need to kill Morocco next. Look at how weak they are after all their wars with Spain and Portugal and Spain. I mean, you may be watching me break down mentally, but this is fun. Mostly because they're dying. And by them, I mean mostly Portugal. I mean, literally, their colonies aren't really even dying. Also, I like this province's name. It makes me laugh. I'm not sure if that was a joke or that's actually true now. Okay, you know what? You guys... You guys can come down here and siege. If need. Yeah, I should probably do something about this. You know what? I have a brave idea. And by brave, I mean I really can't care about this anymore. I also don't really care about my corruption. It's gonna keep growing unless I literally get rid of all my troops. And my forts. Which I'm not doing. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. You know, I completely forgot Spain was down here. And this is the problems they were talking about. That makes more sense now. I knew it was on a different continent. I really hope that some of these troops help if I need it. Oh no. Okay, Conquer Trier, where is that? Pretty sure that's in Italy. In fact, I know it should be in Italy somewhere. Or is it in Spain? I'll, I'll use this. Wait. Nope, it's not. I mean, I can't really do this. I'll try doing this. I might not be able to, though. Okay, I hope those troops are going to siege these lands, if not, at least kill the troops. Okay, 
and this is gonna take so long to get my religious unity up again. And I was so close to. Okay, you know, I'm really gonna have to handle this land better. You know, I can't say I kind of don't deserve this. Okay, I really hope I can at least take this province. Okay, much better. Send. 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 Um. No, I'll do this. They probably already hate me. If not, they'll hate me more. Okay, yeah, they already hated me, so it was a good idea to do that. I really hope they try and start sieging Fez. Great. Okay, this is just bad for me. If I don't finish this war and soon, these separatists will actually get away. And well, you know, separate. Which isn't the best thing in the world when you're a country. They're trying to keep their grip on literally every piece of land that they see. Make core, make core. It's so hard to actually keep my country together now. Okay, they're ridiculous now. They're literally asking the impossible. Okay, you know what? Go out and finish those troops off. I mean, the only thing that I really should try and worry about is maybe this. I mean, let's face it, that's just one troop. And then, I guess, Portuguese Brazil and Rio de Prata. In this area, I guess. But, like, they're, those areas are no threat. Good. Okay, go help with this siege. I mean, this... I mean, this probably... This place is probably as important as most of these areas, but... Much less because I own all the mainland. Or at least most of the mainland because Spain also owns some of it, so you know. Okay, you know what? Select these 10,000 troops and just kill all these guys for doing that to me. I worked very hard to take your land. You are not taking it back. Ever. And you're probably going to take it back, but that's besides the point. Now that's just ridiculous. Like, 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 I mean, are they serious? Just one piece of land and money. I'm pretty sure they even gave me less than the last peace deal that they offered. Okay, but you know what? Since my country's essentially falling apart, can I... Okay, I can take those. Wait, so do that. And what does that do? Oh, forget that. That's stupid. Okay, I want here, here, obviously say Utah.
You know what? That deal looks pretty good to me. Probably should have been paying attention to that, actually, to be honest. Okay, wait a minute. Can I take this? No, I can't. Oh, well. Probably should have seen that coalition thing again before doing that, but whatever. I honestly like how powerful I am. It soothes me. Makes me feel like I'm actually something now. Even though I've been something probably for most of this game. A nuisance. <laughs> it's sad because it's true. This is perfect. I weakened Tunis and Portugal. I want to go for Morocco now. But even I know that's stupid. Mostly because Portugal would actually, you know what? I mean, Spain wouldn't join the, th the war again, but the thing is, I mean, I don't really need them. Like, I was just keeping Spain in the war just to make sure it was going to be easier, and I could also kind of keep their loyalty a little. Oh, sure thing. No way am I letting you through my land, Morocco. I want to kill you. I'll send a guy here, and here, why not? Let me see my call on me. It's, oh, that is not a good thing. Is this almost done? No. And that really isn't either. Okay, you know what, recall you. Guys. Actually, you know what? You just go here. Boats. Come over here and pick them up. See, Tunis is being really stupid. I mean, I was going to kill them anyways, but they're just giving me even more reason to want to kill them. So, you know. Also, I do like how I usually try and keep my things in 45-ish minutes. Because I, like, I feel like an hour is way too much and half an hour isn't enough for this game. Plus, I kind of set that time period for myself for the first few episodes of when I was playing in Denmark. But honestly, I like how I just beat both Portugal and Tunis instantly. Well, in two wars within that time period. I mean, I guess I did have the help from the Ottomans in Spain, but, you know. I mean, I'm not going to say that I did most of the stuff in the war, but I did. Okay. I'll come over. Actually, you know what? They have my leader, they should be fine. Let's just hope I can at least kill them. Otherwise, well, you know. This is actually intense, though. Okay. I wish I could get rid of Fort Maintenance, but I can't, really. Against the Commonwealth. This is a, def a defensive war against... The Commonwealth, their ally with England, Livonian Order, Netherlands, and Lubeck. Uh, oh no. Troops, move out. Okay, send these people over here now. Okay, what if I split you in half? Okay, you know what? Merge. Get on a boat. Just come over here first, then.
crossing my fingers. Not hoping to die. everything like this. Okay, men. Hop on here first. We need to end these people now before they become a real pain in the butt. Okay, now I'm kind of regretting doing that, but you know. Okay, what would happen if I tried to leave? Suggest offer. Okay, so I'd give them... Clay. Laborde. Cornwall. And Hampshire. I really can't be that guy, but I have to. This hurts me so much. But I, I can't join in this war. It dev This war is going to devastate me if I stay in it. I need some time between wars. I get I have that many men, but still. Sure. Okay, good. Those guys are on their boats. Make core. Sure thing. If you're killing Austria, anybody's allowed through my land. That's just a law. Essentially. Set up by me. May sound stupid because it probably is, but you know, I hate Austria and they hate me back, so. Might as well give them that respect. I'm joking about giving them respect, you know? I mean, it's Austria of all people. Okay. I'll lose 25 prestige. And I will lose one reputation. Well, okay, negative one diplomatic reputation until five years passes. But I have... I did it again. Okay, in Wait a minute. How many troops does the Netherlands have? I just need to see. Um, so England has less than me guaranteed. Probably some on the other continent. The Netherlands has 23,000. Okay, you know what? I can do this. Now that I at least have my boats coming. is a hard choice. Minus ship costs, plus that. Ooh, more tax, that's pretty good. You know what, I'll do tax. I need money at this point. I can't survive without it now. It's become a sad need for me, essentially. There we go. That should at least let me cover that area for a little bit. You too. Now. Uh, 
Okay, this is not good for me. Um, attached to transport. It's not good right now, but if we can win this war, then that's good. So it's also the Livonia Order and Monster. Wait, what? Oh, it's just three on four. Wow. I don't know what I was worried about, to, mean, to be honest. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to end it off here, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.